So, this is Eikhoff's test for de Quervain's tenosynovitis. It's similar to Finkelstein's test, but you can do it by yourself. And what you're going to do is you're going to position your hand like so, so the little finger is down towards the floor and the thumb is pointing up to the ceiling. And then you're going to just gently take your thumb across your palm and wrap your fingers gently around it. Now, if you've got very severe symptoms of de Quervain's, even just this might produce pain over the thumb side of the wrist. But otherwise, just gently angle your wrist downwards and that should produce pain just over the thumb side of your wrist right there. And that will be a positive Eikhoff's test. So it's basically this karate chop type movement, like so, but with your thumb across your palm and your fingers around your thumb. And there's that movement. And it stretches the tendons involved in de Quervain's tenosynovitis to the degree where they reproduce your familiar pain. So that is Eikhoff's test for de Quervain's tenosynovitis. If you want to know more about the condition, then I'll put a link up here to a 10 minute video which answers the three most common questions that people ask about de Quervain's tenosynovitis, which is one, what is the condition? Number two, why have I got it? And number three, what can I do about it? What are the treatment options? So check that out up here.